Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Crypt, and I'll be your narrator for today. We will be taking a look at level 3.1 of the backrooms, also known as Space Complex. Survival difficulty, class 4. Unsafe, unsecure, medium entity count. Level 3.1, also known as Space Complex, is a sublayer found within level 3. It is an array of rooms that is filled with machines and spacecraft. Description. Sometimes, while traversing level 3, wanderers may come across different sets of rooms, which are filled with several different types of machinery that are specialized for spacecrafts. They are connected by nothing but a handful of narrow corridors, which have been known to stretch for miles on end. Said occurrence happens due to the existence of what has been dubbed level 3.1, a sublayer in level 3. The sublayer looks very different from level 3, with the rooms being compromised of white walls and floors which are made of clean, shiny, light gray tiles, a significant change from the industrial and gritty look at the baseline level 3. The roof is almost made out of concrete, with big industrial lights being the main source of illumination in the entirety of level 3.1, while some rooms are being contained neon lighting instead. All rooms are connected by long, narrow corridors. Whose walls are filled with the gas pipes and copper cables. These cables are functional and transmit energy like they normally would. Because of this, it is recommended that one looks out for any damaged or uninsulated cables, because they could potentially harm the wanderer. These narrow quarters will almost always lead to another room, which will either be a large open area filled with lots of machinery and spacecraft, or a circular room which stretches deep below the ground level, not dismissed or to a silo, and houses a singular rocket with no specific model or manufacturer. The only exception to this is the rare case of corridors leading to dead ends, which is fortunately highly unlikely to occur. As previously mentioned, all rooms contain a vast amount of some sort of form of machinery, which functions at all times without the need of human intervention. These machines seemingly, seemingly operate without any power source and do not pose as any power switch. Destroying the machines will not prevent them from functioning, as they will immediately be repaired by a pair of robot hands that will emerge from the holes in the ceiling upon damage being done to the machinery. To do this, the hands either use tools that are fixed to them in their arms, or alternatively, use a pair of purges that may be scattered around the room. Whilst the arms are usually passive, paying no mind to the wanderers whatsoever, they will immediately turn aggressive upon being disturbed. If this occurs, they will begin hitting the offender relentlessly until they leave the area, singular, and will continue to do so if they return later on whilst they're at work. Much like level 3, the dangerous environment at level 3.1 pays off due to the abundance of objects that are scattered throughout. These include almond water, false outlets, and fire salts, to name a few. There are also large energy storage devices that can be found across some of the rooms inside this level. Several outlets can be found on them, which can power a myriad of different man-made devices. On rare occasions, containers full of construction equipment can be found in certain parts of the level. They contain inside of them sets of construction equipment such as sledgehammers, bolt cutters, drills, flashlights, first aid kits, construction helmets, and several other such supplies. These containers are highly sought after by major groups of the backrooms, as the objects found inside of them are vital to progress in industrial zones and habitable areas, such as level 11 and level 901. Wi-Fi is present all across level 3.1, and available through Wi-Fi units mounted on the walls of every room. The signal may vary from room to room, and will be highly unstable when in corridors. Temperatures throughout the rooms will be extremely high due to the presence of machinery constantly operating, but the sub contains a giant gigantic network of ventilators and air vents present throughout, which keeps the temperatures around 22 degrees Celsius, 91 degrees Fahrenheit in all rooms, and around 18 degrees Celsius, 64 degrees Fahrenheit in the corridors. In the narrow corridors, the wanderers will be mostly safe from entities as they do not appear to travel across rooms. These narrow corridors contain numerous gas pipes, cables, and machinery, which are always connected between rooms. Attempting to destroy these objects has not been attempted yet, but will probably yield the same results as the aforementioned damage of the machinery's repair process. Although most corridors simply lead to another room and contain no other exits, some do contain staircases that allow wanderers to exit the sublayer. These appear in completely random areas and are extremely rare. Sometimes, wanderers may come across extremely tall rooms which are not dissimilar to silos. These rooms, which were briefly mentioned earlier in the article, 
always house one unbranded rocket with no identifiable module, similar to the other units. They are mostly devoid of entities, save for some uncommon occasions. Thus far, it is not known that these rooms have a bottom, as the rockets seem to be suspended over an endless void by a few steel arms. Control panels can also be found in a separate, secured room within the silo. They could be theoretically be used to launch the rocket, but they are thankfully not known to be functioned. Completely inoperable, and oftentimes in various states of disrepair. Other rooms which can be found, albeit not as common, are large centrifuge. Other rooms which can be found, albeit not as common, are large centrifuges, press conference rooms, office, and sleeping quarters. But there are other rooms which have been documented, with their scarcity has warranted them being omitted from the list. An extensive list of these rooms can be found in log underscore 3.1.txt, which can be found attached to this file. Most of these rooms contain a large amount of different hostile entities and are rarely ever devoid of entities. Normally, no valuable objects can be found in across the less common rooms. Occasionally, however, some may contain bottles of almond water stored in containers, oftentimes together with the aforementioned construction equipment. Entities. Much like level 3, level 3.1 contains a lot of dangerous entities. Although some appear in larger concentrations than others, some of the most common entities present all across the sublayer are bursters, stretchers, clumps, skin stealers, dolers, and hounds. The open areas are where most entities present within level 3.1 can be found, usually in groups which are scattered across all the rooms. They will attack wanderers in their vicinity, although the robotic arms will try to fight them off as best as they can. Warning: Multiple instances of Entity 19 known as the disease have been found in level 3.1. We urge all wanderers to be very cautious and maintain proper hygiene procedures to minimize the risk of contracting this deadly disease. Thank you. Bases, Outposts, and Communities MEG Base Gamma B Small outposts formed by volunteers from Base Gamma consists of around 31 operatives, will provide shelter, supplies, and medical care to wanderers, and they will route them to safer levels if possible. BNTG Space Complex Outpost Storage facility for the BNTG consists of 18 permanent members. Open the trading will offer reasonable prices for most objects present in level 3.1. Entrances and exits. Entrances. To enter level 3.1, travel and find a yellow staircase in level 3. At the end of the staircase, there will be a door that allows one to enter level 3.1. Be aware that by doing so, you will unable to go back, as there will not be open the door anymore. Exits. To exit level 3.1, one must find the aforementioned staircase present in some corridors, which, although rare, are the safest exits. Alternatively, one may no-clip at random on walls in present rooms. Wanderers will always end up in level 4, upon exiting.